Hey friends, in today's video, we are going to learn VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. VLOOKUP is one of the Excel's most powerful lookup functions. If your data is organized vertically, you can use VLOOKUP function to find any value in first column of your table or in first column of your selection and can bring or get the corresponding value from another column on the right side. The easiest way to learn VLOOKUP function is to go through from an example or solve a problem with the help of VLOOKUP function. So let's get started. Here we have a data table that contains details of invoices. In first column we have invoice number, then we have customer name, product sold, units sold and invoice value. Let's say we want to find out customer names based on invoice number. For this problem, we can use VLOOKUP function. So we can start by entering here VLOOKUP function. Equal sign VLOOKUP function. In VLOOKUP function, we need to provide four parameters. The first parameter is lookup value. This is actually the invoice number on which based we want to find customer name. So in this case, we can say that we want to find out customer name for invoice number INC2117. So INC2117, this invoice will be our lookup value. So we can enter here this invoice number in our lookup function. Tissue mark INC2117 quotation mark. This is our lookup value. We will insert comma, then table array. Table array is the data table in which we can get lookup value and the corresponding value that we want to bring here. In our example, our lookup value is invoice number and the corresponding value that we want to bring here is customer name. So we can select these two columns in these two columns, we have our lookup value and corresponding value that we want to bring here. So we have been selected our table array. We will insert comma here again. Now the third parameter is column index number. This is actually the column number in our selection from where we can get our corresponding value. As our corresponding value that we want to bring here is customer name. So you can see in our selection, customer name is in second column. In first column, we have invoice number. And in second column, we have customer name that is our corresponding value that we want to bring here. So we will insert here two, that is column index number. Then again, mm. then again, we will insert here comma. Now the last and fourth parameter of VLOOKUP function is do we want to do exact match or approximate match? If you don't have any specific reason to use approximate match, you should use exact match. Otherwise, VLOOKUP function can give you unexpected results. So here we will select exact match. Now we have been entered all the four parameters. We can close parenthesis and we can press enter to get or to see the result of our VLOOKUP function. I will press here enter and you can see for invoice number INC2117, we got here customer name. In place of adding lookup value manually in VLOOKUP function, you can add lookup value in another cell and use that cell as a reference in place of lookup value. Let's say for the same example, we can put lookup value in the cell that is INC2117 and in place of this manual INC2117, we can just simply delete it and we can select the cell in which we have lookup value. And if we press enter, the answer is the same. So friends, this is the basic tutorial on how to use VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel Microsoft Office Tutorials. Also, don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय